the Elephant Manufacturing Company set out to design and build an interim MBT that would improve on the shortcomings of the Elephant Mark 1A, which were exposed during the South African border war, having poor armor, poor mobility, and taxing maintenance requirements. Elephant tank when compared globally it's the worst tank in specifications like underpowered, undergunned, and having low power to weight ratio. But when compared regionally it stands to some extent because it was designed to counter T-55, Type 69, and SK-105 Kurasir tanks in the region, which are equipped with 100mm rifled, 115 smoothbore, and 105mm main guns respectively. The primary focus was therefore placed on protection, followed by improved firepower capabilities, then mobility, and lastly reduction of vehicle maintenance and crew fatigue. The Mark II carries a standard complement of four crew, consisting of the commander, gunner, loader, and driver. The commander's station also features a digital screen that is linked to the gunner's site. In Mark II variant the commander received a commander's observation platform which is fully stabilized and equipped with thermal imaging to enhance situational awareness and combat ability. The commander's observation platform or site can be removed when not in operational use. The Mark II retained the Mark IA armor, which consisted of 118 mm on the frontal glacis at 60 degrees, 152 mm on the frontal turret, 51 mm on the sides, 40 mm on top, and 19 mm in the rear. An armor upgrade program took the form of several passive composite armor packages, one over the frontal glacis plate and another on the turret. A gap was left in between the original Centurion turret and the added armor package to act as spaced armor. The total thickness and composition of these armor packages are classified. However, given the threat level posed, it would be reasonable. With the constant threat of landmines in southern Africa, the addition of a double armored floor is provided. A new fire suppression system was installed, and two banks of four smoke grenade launchers are fitted to the rear of the turret. Mark II retained the South African produced 105mm GT3B rifled gun barrel and also retained 7.62mm coaxial machine gun from base Centurion tank. The tank uses four types of main gun rounds. The high explosive squash head, M9210 high explosive round, M9718 armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot round, with a maximum effective range of 3 km and penetration of 450 mm RHA at the same distance, and white phosphorus round, which is used to mark targets and making a smokescreen to mask movement. A total of 65 main gun rounds carried in protected stowage bins below the turret ring. The turret bustle was extended which added more room for crew equipment. Ammunition is also stored in the turret bustle, but it does not have blow-off panels. This MBT is undergunned by modern standards, however, its APFSDS round is capable of disabling any encountered opposing tank in Africa. The only thing in this tank better from its counterparts is its fire control system. Mark II features a completely integrated FCS. The FCS allows the gunner or commander to target an enemy with an auto-tracking feature to keep the main gun on target while the tank is moving. The gunner makes use of a digital display screen to select a target and displays the results of the integrated ballistic computer. The laser rangefinder is integrated into the system and is accurate up to 10 kilometers. An additional feature that makes the Mark II so lethal is its hunter-killer capability. This allows the commander and gunner to independently scan for targets, thereby maximizing the chance of spotting and engaging an enemy first. The commander can override the gunner's aim with the flip of a switch to put the main cannon on target. The vehicle is powered by a Continental diesel engine, developing 1,040 horsepower, which remains unchanged from the Elephant Mark 1B but improvements to the engine raised the overall performance to 1,040 horsepower, with an increase of the power-to-weight ratio from 14.4 horsepower per ton in the Mark 1B to 17.19 horsepower per ton in Mark 2. This is a significant improvement, considering that Mark 2 only weighs 1.5 tons more than Mark 1B. The weight of Elephant Mark 2 is around 60 tons. 
The tank also retains the Mark 1 BS torsion bar suspension system with hydraulic dampers and bump stops, fitted to the first and last pair of road wheels, which dramatically improved off-road mobility. The overall result is a less taxing driving experience, especially over rough terrain. The steering of the Mark II also remained the same as the Mark 1B, which is done via yoke. In conclusion, Oliphant is the world lightest weaponized tank by tonnage, means a 105mm gun on a 60 tons vehicle, currently, most of the light tanks with a weight between 20 to 35 tons, carry 105mm guns like Type 15 tank, from PLA, and Tulper light tank from Turkey, and even lightweight wheel platforms are also armed with 105mm guns, including Japanese Type 16 MCV, Centauro 1, Patria AMV and Chinese ZTL 11. Another challenge is its low power to weight ratio of 17 horsepower per ton. In comparison, the Chinese MBT 2000 has the power to weight ratio of 26 horsepower per ton. One major problem is its limited operational range, Oliphant can travel only 260 km, while current MBTs can easily cover 400 to 600 km distance. The only positive aspect of Oliphant Mark II is its integrated fire control system, which allows an auto-tracking feature to keep the main gun on target and hunter-killer capability. The South African Army have to source or develop a new tank for future requirement, as the hulls of Oliphant tanks are nearly 60 years old.